So um, why is this important? So from the investigation that we did on GSP, okay, we know the sine ratio from an angle 41.65 um, should be 0 0.66. Okay, the ratio, if we have a 41.65 degree angle in there, the ratio of the opposite side to the, to the hypotenuse should be 0 0.66 for all right angle triangles with a reference angle of 41.65 because all right angle triangles with an angle of 41.65 are similar triangles because all three of those angles would have to be equal. Okay, So all of their ratios, opposite over hypotenuse, should be 0 0.66. So we could use that ratio to solve for a missing side. If we know the angle in here, um, 41.65, we know the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, x over 6, should be 0 0.66. Okay, So we know x over 6, Oh, I don't want highlighter. We know x over 6 should be equal to 0 0.66. Okay? So we could solve for x. Just multiply 0 0.66 by 6. Okay? So we know that. Um, but we have to memorize the ratios for all the possible angles. Like, yeah, okay, we, we figured this one out, 0 0.66, by doing that GSP demonstration. Are we going to have to memorize all of these? No, your calculator has stored all of these for you. Like, on your calculator, if you put in the sine, oh, turn on first. If you put in the sine of 41.65, press enter. Oh, what did I do here? If you put in the sine of 41.65, oh, I'm not on degree mode. That'll change it. Make sure, there's a good lesson for you. Make sure your calculator is on degrees. We don't know anything about radians yet, okay? So sine of 41.65, hopefully it gives us 0 0.66, and it sure does, okay? So every triangle with an angle, every right angle triangle with an angle of 41.65 will have a ratio, a sine ratio of 0.66, okay? Sine being opposite over hypotenuse, okay? So this is the same because each angle has a unique sine ratio that never changes, okay? So what I want to take away from this, the fact that there are three ratios, and if we know a right angle triangle has an angle of theta, okay, if we know the angle, we know all other right triangles with that same angle are similar, and therefore have equivalent ratios, okay? Those ratios are the same for all similar triangles. Let me just show you one more GSP sketch quickly, just to, just to demonstrate that one more time. Let's see if I can... Um, get it open here. Um, okay, so here we go here. I've got, um, I've got a right angle triangle here. Okay, angle C um, is at 90 degrees. So angle ACB is at 90 degrees. My angle B is 51 and my angle A is at 38, okay? You'll see I've got set up here the sine ratio, cosine ratio, and tan ratio, okay, from angle B. Okay, so angle B is 51.5, and these are the, the ratios from that reference angle. And here's the length of each of the sides. So you'll see, if I change the angle, so you'll see these angles start to change, you'll see that the, the sine, cosine, and tan range, ratios also change. So if the angle changes, you see, the, the trig ratios also start to change, okay? But if I only change the size of this triangle and don't affect the angles, okay, I'm not changing the angles, I'm just affecting the size. See, the angles are staying the same. The trig ratios also stay the same, okay? Because for all similar triangles, um, the trig ratios are the exact same. So if the reference angle stays at 51.34, angle B hasn't, isn't changing, the sine, cos, and tan ratios are the same for all of these triangles that I'm making right here. Okay? So no matter what size it is, the trig ratios stay the same as long as the angles are staying the same. Because each angle has its own unique sine, cos, and tan. But as soon as the angle starts to change, the trig ratios also start to change. Okay? Hopefully that helps us understand a little bit how we can use or, or, or why we can use these trig ratios, okay? Here's an acronym you can use to help you memorize it, okay? The trig ratios. 
sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. And you can say this as so katoa. So katoa. SOH, sine, opposite over hypotenuse, ka, cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, toa. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay? So let's put this into action a little bit. Let's do this quickly. Um, up to this point, it's just been kind of an understanding thing. Now we'll actually use these. Okay? So find the following trig ratios. If this is my triangle, here's my reference angle right here. And it's going to ask me to find the sine of theta. Okay? Theta is the, the Greek symbol we're going to use to identify an unknown angle. Okay? So the, the sine of theta, um, we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? So opposite is right here. And my hypotenuse is across from the right angle. So it's right there. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse is 12 over 13. If I do 12 over 13, I should get 0 0.998, um, no, 92, 0 0.92, okay, 0 0.92. Cos of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, okay, adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. So this is my adjacent side to theta, okay, this side here, side of 5, is right beside my reference angle, that's why it's the adjacent. So cosine of theta is 5 over 13, adjacent over hypotenuse. 5 divided by 13 is close to 0 0.4. It's um, 0 0.38. Okay. Now I have to find tan. That's my last ratio. I know tan is opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent is 12 over 5. That'll give me a nice round number of 2.4. Okay? 5 goes into 12, 2.4 times. Okay? Let's do one more example. Make sure we're good with this. So if this is our reference angle here, right here, and I want to find the three trig ratios for this triangle, what you might want to get in the habit of doing first is just labeling your opposite side right across from theta, your adjacent side right next to theta, Oh, I almost started labeling that hypotenuse. Um, adjacent side. And your hypotenuse is across from the right angle. There it is. Okay? So sine of theta, if I remember, sine, so, is S O over H. Sine, opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse is 5.8 over 11.1. That is 0 0.52. You'd have to put that one in on your calculator. Okay? Cosine, ka, is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay? So adjacent over hypotenuse is 9.5 over 11.1. .1. Over 11.1. .1. On my calculator, that gives me 0 0.86. Okay? Tan, toa, Tan is opposite over adjacent, so that gives me 5.8 over 9.5, 5.8 over 9.5, and that's equal to 0 0.61. Okay, that's it for today. Um, hopefully you understand um, why we can use these ratios. Okay because every triangle that has the same reference angle is going to have this exact same ratio. Okay, hopefully we remember that. Just make sure you have, this is the important slide here, it goes through everything, shows you the three ratios, and it tells you here if we know an angle has, um, we know the reference angle, we know all other triangles, right angle triangles, sorry, with that reference angle, have equivalent sine, cos, and tan ratios, because similar triangles, all have the same ratios of these three of these um, of these sides. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions. See you guys.